This video requires a very calm and soothing voice, but you got my voice, so fuck it. And in this video, I'm just going to, you know, show you some some of the very basic terminal things which you might need to learn. But before that, I want to tell you that many people ask me some stupid questions like how to get good with Linux and terminal and stuff. And the simple answer is that first, I don't know. I'm not very good. I'm just learning. And the second answer is that start uh, using terminal all right that's the basic thing which you have to do in order to get good and many people don't do uh, if you are using gnome or kde and you're using all these gui program and you want to learn how to use terminal well you're doing everything wrong you have to force yourself into using you know terminal and i started becoming at least decent not good in the terminal when i started uh just using terminal all right so the only gui program i use is uh, firefox and after firefox i don't use any gui program and i force myself into using terminal so if i have to you know do some partitioning in my you know usb drive i use terminal to do it and if i want to do something else like anything all right any kind of work i just force myself uh, to use terminal for doing that work and it just improved me a lot in computers and and the understanding and now i'm struck with it like i don't even use tui applications i mean i don't use a uh, ranger i don't use any of these file applications and you might think this is is stupid but it really helped me a lot so in this video i'm just going to show you some of the very basic thing uh, which you know just it, this is a very rough video i'm not even going to edit this so so that was a fucking lie suppose you are in a directory and many people beginners don't know like how to uh, see the size of a file so let's go to in my pics and wall and suppose if you just want to see some size so uh, here's a uh, wallpaper size so you type du it's for uh, i don't know what it's for actually i knew but i forgot so estimated uh, file space uses all right so du and then minus h for human readable and that's how you can know uh, what is the file sizes so this might be very basic for some advanced user but many uh, you know new users don't know about this <coughs> sorry for that so now let's just you know continue doing mixing some commands which is the philosophy of unix which is you know pretty uh simple thing not actually so suppose you just want to know the size of all these files so what you can do is that for f in all the gpgs um do uh here i am typing dot jpg but you might also like png or just everything but i'm doing this only jpg because you know jpg have less size than png so i just want to see the max size like which file contain the max size so du minus h and then you know dollar symbol and f so here i am writing a for loop okay so to write a for loop for all the files which you have in one directory this is the syntax you have to follow and after this just done and this is my command here and this variable is the file name and this is du minus u uh, minus h to know the file size and do is just you know something you have to type for the for loop and here i'm going to get the list but i cannot scroll up I, I mean i can scroll up but as you can see my output is missing like uh, because of the you know what i'm saying all right so to get this i can just use less and now i can press jk to you know scroll through all the output so these are very small things but many uh, new users don't know and they should learn these basic things to learn like how to use terminal and stuff okay so you don't really need scrolling for that you can just pass your output in list to see what you got and here you can see all the wallpaper and the size with it and even though you can also use uh, th this is pretty stupid actually you can also use ls minus you know lh like this will also give you the size but okay we did this in this way um so we got the size and now suppose you just want to see like which is the most um heavy wallpaper so you can sort this uh, as you can see you sorted this but uh you if you only want size and not the file name you can use awk first so 
like print dollar symbol one which is going to give us the first column and let's just press enter so this is going to remove the second column which is you know on the wallpaper file name all right but we want file name so i, I don't know why i told you this i mean we want this. um maybe because i first thought that uh, i i don't know all right so yeah sort again less so let's see did we got the most uh, you know heavy wallpaper uh, the most amount of data so it's a inverse scroll i mean it's like ascending order scroll it's not scroll sort sorry about that so yeah I, we got 9 mb wallpaper but as you can see here is 7 mb wallpaper and then we got you know 725 52k because this sorting is like a lexo graphic i don't know what the word is but it's like a, a, you know a dictionary kind of sorting which is not this is not what we want all right so the first thing we can do is um, maybe because we are using human readable i think we don't need to use human readable we can just get by it so to know about something like i don't know right now how to i mean i know actually but still uh, to know about something you can use man page which i use a lot when i get struck you don't really need to google um, until it's very important but there are a lot of times man page can solve your pro problems and people don't read man page which is you know pathetic so you should start reading man page all right so as you can see we can use minus b for only bytes output so and i think uh, let's see the what is the default action of d like without any minus h option so yeah i think it is giving the output in bytes um uh i think that i don't know what minus p do here i mean if the default is like bytes but still let's you oh i think the default was not bytes now the number is far big all right uh, my english sucks so sorry about that okay so let's just use it um without anything okay and we are getting some number here i don't know what this is this is bytes or not but let's just forget this this is not the goal of this video um i don't know what is the goal of this video maybe finding the you know max size wallpaper but let's just continue doing this so uh yeah so we got some things here but still it's not sorted because again uh, this is sorting in a uh, dictionary format all right so this is not like numerical sorting so we can use sort function to do this so we have to look the man page here so and uh, integer let's try to find integer mm, so as you can see i here minus n numeric sort and this is uh, this is something which we want i mean if you do minus n here then it's going to do numeric sort like one two three four type okay so if i press you know uh, j for you know scrolling jk um so here you can see we got one wallpaper here in the bottom and this is not here sorry i just missed okay so this is the wallpaper and this is like the most heaviest wallpaper so let's just try to uh, remove this less and you know open this and let's see so yeah as you can see it it looks heavy i mean look at all this information we can you know scroll so much so yeah let's go to the harry potter side okay this is the max scroll i can do so yeah i mean uh, what i'm trying to explain you is that in terminal you mix things up all right you use one program with another program it's like it's like uh, you know making sweater with uh, those stitching i don't know what that okay so i don't my english sucks all right but yeah i just love this uh you know architecture like uh using one program and then using another program to you know mix things up all right so even though you can obviously do this a lot better way like ls command i think um offer you a lot of things like what is the latest wallpaper or the size i don't know much about ls command actually i think i should look for you know max size but leave it i mean that's for your homework all right guys so thanks for watching this video the biggest key of getting good if you want to get good with you know linux let me tell you one thing all right you know how to use computer with gui 
then stop using GUI. Just learn how to use computer with CLI. Take a challenge, do it. Many people be like, oh, but uh, you know, it will mess my you know daily routine and all the stuff. But no, it doesn't. Okay. So since I am just talking, let me just update my watch. Okay. So yeah, you sh you need to just uninstall all the GUI programs and hey, what the fuck? I just I just updated before this video and i got two new updates but it was satisfying for me so oh, i was saying just uh, stop using any gui programs stop you yeah start using window managers that really improved me a lot with you know linux so i was using gnome and then actually i was switching through desktop environments a lot and i got sick of any every desktop environment and all the distros because there was a point when i started to feel like every distro is like same okay i mean it all uh, it's all customization and since i do customization by myself i don't care what destroy install after uh, sorry for saying every distro is same i am i know that all destroy is not same but i am talking about looks okay so but when i started to use uh, window managers i i i start getting good with you know terminal and stuff because uh, the, this environment forces you into using terminal and since i wanted an environment where i don't use any gui programs or any kind of file manager and i just forced myself into using ls and now i'm i feel so better at this thing okay and uh, so yeah that's it for this video hope you guys like this kind of video and uh, this is just a video i mean this i mean this is just a video i can't close this okay yeah i can close this so this is just an empty video all right so thanks for watching this video uh, i will try to make some more videos like yo, I'ma show those bastards. I'ma pull a Alphaville and stay young forever. I'ma hack biology and stay young forever. I'ma wirehead myself then. I don't wanna be like Eminem in old age. Live in a big house and bake cakes with fake rage. See who I was and only live in that template. And watch what I say, cause I've got fans to play. So let the mania waves come. Let's go to parties in LA, get fucked up and have fun.